Hello, beloved. Welcome to your message. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me. Beloved, if you are keen or interested in booking me for a reading or a one-on-one -on -one session, you'll find my email listed on the screen or down in the description box below. Let us begin with your message and find out what God wants you to know at this time. mean called to not take these okay but i mean called to read them um ace of swords and the sun okay so with this ace of swords and the sun energy um there are some unspoken truths okay that are going to be revealed things are going to begin to be shown to you things are going to begin to be illuminated in your favor um, within the regards of all things that you thought you knew of. So whatever happened in your childhood, whatever happened when you were a teenager, whatever happened in high school, primary school, in your adult life, in the workplace, friendships, relationships, whatever took place that you didn't see, you are going to see in Scorpio season. All of it. But all of that information is going to come to serve a purpose, okay? Okay. We have the four of wands, okay? So with this four of wands energy, I see that there is something that was built that is crumbling down, okay? Something that was built on lies, something that was built on manipulation, something that was built upon a false foundation. That is crumbling down, okay? You're going to see that happening in the next two months, beloved. So this could be a household. This could be a relationship. This could be a friendship. This could be a business. This could be a person, a false person who is portraying a false role in the world, misleading people, pushing the wrong narrative, okay? So, while this is happening, I see you regaining a strong position, a strong role in your world and your reality, okay? Okay, page of wands. With this page of wands energy... Okay, beloved, it's like this, right? There are people that have forgotten their manners, okay? People that have forgotten how to be good. It's like there were people that had to play a specific role in your life, that had to treat you a specific kind of way. There were people that had to comply to a certain kind of role, but they failed you, okay? They failed you miserably. They went behind your back. They deceived you. They wrongfully spoke ill on you, and they wanted to tarnish your image and your reputation. So this is a classic, uh, classic tale in the Bible, in the Bible, okay, where... There's opposition against someone who was chosen. There's opposition coming in that person's circle, okay? Being betrayed by your own kind, okay? This happened to you a lot. And I'm getting this was because whenever these people that betrayed you were around you, how they would experience you would be of a very high vibration. One which they did not understand at the time. One which they were not even tapped into. 
it's like it started with you they saw it first with you you are the one that brought them into that realm tapped them into that reality gave them that sort of enlightenment opened up that sort of energy portal for them within that regard they saw it first with you okay beloved and this is important of you to know that you are here to co-create with god and you are here to inspire many people at this time your image in the world is changing rapidly okay with this page of wands a rapid change in your image just a rapid change man like it's like quick a quick a quick shift when it comes to how people look at you okay that's what's happening it's like there is a specific image and reputation that you had in the world due to your past or who you were but that has completely changed and not only has it changed it's evolved into something greater and bigger than you even because it's not only a reputation it's an energy that you are vibrating on that is of god and everybody is receiving you within this likeness beloved this is why this is very very huge this is very tremendous okay this is something you should look at to be a great deal this is something you should treat yourself and celebrate about the fact that you are walking in the true likeness of god you are not being compared to anything else outside of a god that is a powerful powerful reputation you have okay it's like god is doing this for you god is rebranding you in the world helping people see you the way they should the way you actually are helping people actually understand what you're saying tying the pieces together for them so that they completely get the narrative of your story and who you are and you are going to be respected you are going to be looked at as a great an icon an inspiration an empowering woman an empowering man a complete divine feminine a complete divine masculine the ideal prize man you're going to be looked at as such and this is god's work this is god's doing in your life in your reality in your favor he's giving you favor in man okay human kind Because with the six of cups here, you were wrongfully dead in the past. Okay, people really um, lied. Okay, there was a lot of lying, a lot of lies spread about you, your image, who you were, things of that sort. It's like God no longer wants people to misunderstand you. God wants people to understand what you're saying completely. He wants people to know what you really mean. He no longer wants you to be a riddle, a mystery. God wants it to be declared that you are his. He no longer wants to keep you a secret. He's a jealous God. Yes, he kept you away from the world, but now he wants to bring you back out because he's ready for you to be seen. God really loves you, beloved, okay? He would crumble kingdoms in your favor as he's doing with this these false masks that you are seeing all around you these false people in your reality and in your world their reality and their world is going to begin to crumble and i'm saying that it's going to be in your favor because you know that this is the right thing you know that this is meant to happen they're meant to go down because real people need to rise up real prophets need to rise up okay real authentic people need to rise up people that are actually of the work of god people that actually walk with god people that know and have a relationship with god scorpio is bringing that with this tower scorpio is bringing that truth for everyone who with this father swords for everyone who told a lie in god's name everyone is going to be it's like a judgment time man so how are you going to see i'm going to give you the signs okay so that you know so that you're aware so that you know your role in everything too okay i'm going to tell you all that you need to know i see here with this five of swords though 
um, before I get into that, these people thought they were, they really knew what they were doing. Five of Swords is an energy of, it's like a page, okay? Somebody who thinks they know, but don't know anything at all. Someone who is in the beginning, the training course, a rookie. Someone who is, isn't who they, who isn't who they think they are. Okay, that's why divine intervention has to be a play because these people have falsified themselves in ego and placed themselves in positions they don't belong on. Okay, with this high priestess, this is a divine intervention. This is something that God is doing. That's why you are not going to even, it's like, it's not, it's not, it's not in your control, man. Okay, let's tap into it. Being called to read all of them, okay? So we have the devil inverted, okay? So I'm getting... There are people... These people who are false, okay? Liars. People that hurt other people. People that are malicious, vicious, um, hateful, bitter. Okay, very, very bitter, very, very jealous. People that when they see others that are not, that are like of an upper rank to them or seem to be, they get very jealous and very hateful towards that person for their rank. And those type of people don't deserve an upper rank because they're going to abuse those very people they envy when they get to the top because this is what they hold in their heart. It's very impure. It's an impure place these people are vibrating on. And with this devil inverted, I'm getting God is ending all of that. So with this devil in, in inverted, God is saying, I don't need your discipline. I don't need your obedience. I don't need you to care about my agenda or my narrative. But you're not going to come into my world and mislead my people and think I'm going to let you. I'm going to prove my existence to you because clearly you are doubting my capability to do so. Because I've been so kind to you. It's happening, okay? Scorpio is bringing truth hand in hand with Capricorn. And this truth is going to put everything into perspective for everyone. So how this is going to happen is, let's take a very big example so that everybody can get what this means. Someone who is leading the pack in the music industry but is misleading people with their narrative in their music, meaning they're not authentic in that. They're doing it to thrive off of the material things they are receiving from it, right? Not with the passion, with the love for the music and for the people. See, God loves music. He loves music. He loves, that's what church is. We worship him, we praise him just cause. Because he just loves to hear us sing. Whether you're a church go or not, that's the purpose of it, you know. We are his, man. We are his. His voice is our voice. So this, with this being said, is that the people that have been utilizing their voice to uplift themselves in a wrongful manner, all of that needs to be accounted for. So you might see that that famous person's music starts to sound very weak. Weak in substance, weak in depth, weak in its creativity, weak in its concept and ideology. It just won't, oh man. Uh. See, for that to happen, the person doing it has to be on that vibration because that is how you are receiving it too. It's also like, uh, uh, to them, because they don't believe in their work, they're just merely doing it because they are chasing something in this world. And you cannot, cannot want to live life at the expense of others. That is selfish, 
that is cruel and evil. God wants to end that narrative. So you will start to see things like that happening. It won't sound right anymore. It doesn't have to be their sales going down. They will go down when it doesn't sound right. Not because it's just the sales just happen to go down. There will be a purpose to it. You will see and feel and hear that, man, this person's weak in rank. They're not coming through with anything that is going to be effective in my vibration. In this earthly vibration, they're going to begin to slowly crumble. Okay, we have the Three of Wands, okay? I see that these people have been awaiting, like, it's like the, you've been seeing people planting their seeds, like, maybe thriving off of being false. People that are not good, man. Liars. Getting away with it. You've been seeing people get away with it for a very, very long time. And I feel like you have been just like, you know what, eh. I'm just gonna let them, you know, have their karma. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it go. But you have not actually witnessed any karma. You have just believed that it will come because you know that everything deserves justice. Everything needs to be fair in the end. Everything needs to be tranquil, equal, as we all are in flesh. So this is to say that Whatever these people have been planting as of lately, and you've been seeing that, okay, these people are bad, but like they're still getting away with it. You will see whatever they've been planting begin to fall. Okay? It's like it won't make sense to you and anyone else anymore. Their image is going to begin to change. Their image in this world. How people look at them, how people look at their work, how people understand their work, their craft, how they how they are understood and looked at. It's all shifting, okay, beloved. With this two of one, this perspective of this shift of perspective is going to create a new world order. Okay. This new world order is going to help restore peace, faith, hope and truth in humankind because i see also that you've been looking at people and looking at the world like damn man like when are things going to be better when are things going to be this when are things going to be that when are people just going to be good and you've been waiting on god to do something but god has been letting everyone think that they are leading they are in control for a very long a century a century you are not even a hundred years old he's been letting this go on for a century it's a build-up but the time is near people have been saying the time is near for jesus to come all all the time but what does that even mean what is jesus what does he represent he represents justice fairness truth he represents the image of god and what he believes in in his world not what we've made of it what we declare to be when we are leaving all of this behind, who's going to clean the mess up? He he has to chop. And he's tired of that. He's tired of cleaning up after y'all. He's tired of cleaning up after these bad people. So he wants to make sure that peace and justice is restored so that everyone falls in line. So that everyone realizes, because he's seeing that it's getting out of hand. The reason is there to go on is because he's been developing a plan and a strategy on how he's going to execute because he's a very, very patient God. So now he's seeing that it's just getting out of hand. We're all getting too smart. Things are advancing too quick. And what does he need to do? Restore order in his world and this is what is happening that is why this is happening you're going to see everything unfold and you have been shown everything from the beginning like you've been shown everyone who is going to fall you've been led to their path you've been in those people's lives 
you've encountered them somehow in your journey because you needed to see the crumble crumble you need to see them fall you needed to experience that so you know god is who he says he is because you're going to need that it's going to activate you further in your path you will never doubt him again because he is who he said he is and he did what he said he will do child in his world Five of Cups. See, everything in this life, including you, it was an idea that, firstly, your parents had an idea. They wanted a child. They made that decision. They made that choice. And even if it wasn't a choice they made, it was a choice they did through their actions it's like you don't need to say i want a baby for you to 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 have it you know you don't need to say it for it to be done or for it for it to be known you just be about it and it's going to be known even further even more effective so if you are trying to have a baby and you saying no but we didn't make that choice and decision to this is an example guys right imagine you're trying to have a baby you saying you didn't make the choice and decision to make the baby but nonetheless your actions are making the baby so your actions made the choice for you is what this says and nonetheless a choice was made and you were brought in here as an idea everything that exists that we now need electricity was an idea wi-fi was an idea youtube was an idea tiktok was an idea instagram was an idea it was all an idea it all starts as an idea your thinking process who rules that who gave you that mind? Who equipped you with those thoughts? It's God's doing, y'all. Whether you want to take acknowledge it or not, like He doesn't need your acknowledgement. He needs you to know that it's Him, whether you acknowledge it or not. And therefore, that's why even the creativity in these people will start to die out. Their ideas are going to lack substance because they lack truth, because they're not authentic. That's why. And it's like, when you see this happening, you are going to get a huge spark of ideas, beloved, because of what's happening. It's going to activate you. It's that season, man. Scorpio serving a purpose. It's not just Scorpio season for someone's birthday to be celebrated. Scorpio is an energy, is an entity that is serving a purpose in God's favor. And we are all experiencing it, whether we acknowledge it or not. Okay? The death. So everything is coming to full circle. See? You know the snake, the Ouroboros? It's the snake that eats itself in a circular way, okay? It eats its own tail and it forms a circle. That represents an ending and also a beginning of an ending. This is the beginning of the end. That's what Scorpio is saying. So... It's like a new reality that we're going to be living in, okay? You won't go into Capricorn season living in the same reality. I can guarantee you that, okay? Capricorn is going to serve a different purpose. But the importance of the right now is what service Scorpio is serving. Scorpio is gifting us with a new reality because we need it. We need Scorpio to give us this. This is what Scorpio does. Rebirth and death new fresh real true 
So when Scorpio departs, everything is going to be different. But it's all going to improve the quality of your life. Depending on your journey, you're going to get exactly what you need from Scorpio. Okay? Whatever has been bugging at you, irritating you about certain people, just like, why are you so false, bro? Why are you doing this? You're not, you're not a good person. Why are you in this position? Why do you think you, you're not a good person? You, you know, you, you're leading people astray. You are false. You are, you are not a good person. So why, why are you still, why, where's the justice? This is Scorpio saying, I'm bringing it. Okay. So we have the fool as well as the chariot. So this new reality that we are all going to be tapped into is going to shape us in ways that we didn't imagine, okay? Us that walk with God. And moving forward, your world is going to be such a magical place, beloved. Every experience is going to be like a new reality, okay? This is something you deserve and something that you've earned because you trusted God and you walked with him even in the, in the storm. He loves you so much, okay? And he's saying thank you for believing in him and his agenda for his humankind, including your own kind, okay? That's all, okay, beloved. That's the message. Thank you so much for your time. We need call to end it here. If you are keen or interested in booking me for a reading, um, you'll find my email listed on the screen or down in the description box below. I offer any and all kinds of readings, including one-on-one -on -one sessions with me via FaceTime, video call, Skype, as well as Zoom call. I'm sending you nothing but love and comfort. Really hope this helped and you heard what I said. Bye.